My pink journey. I found a flight. What I thought, and that is the big line, isn't it? What I thought was 36 euros from Ibiza to Manchester. Booked it. Booked the hotel in Manchester because the flight was to Manchester. Booked my train. Booked, you know what it's like when you go away. Suddenly thought, I don't have a passport because I was in Ibiza and to go anywhere in Spain, you don't need a passport. So I thought, oh shit, what do I do now? I remembered a friend of mine had told me that they'd got a boyfriend. Her boyfriend's like, she's got loads. Actually, it's her husband. Oh my God, I went to the wedding. Anyway, her husband was coming over later on in that evening and he could pick up my passport. So basically he went round to my house, picked up my passport, brought it out to me. Off we go, pink, here we come. Woke up in the morning, went to do my check-in. I booked the 22nd of July not June. For some reason I booked a flight for the 22nd of July to Manchester from Ibiza. I was devastated. I, I, to be honest with you, I nearly cried. That's how devastated I was. I was hurling abuse at the walls, throwing things around. <laughs> and then I thought, well, let's get to the airport. And we went and we found a flight for 150 euros. So this is my story. We set off, we start. At Ibiza Airport. Well, so far so good. I've arrived at the airport and now in queue for security. Um, yes, after all what's happened, what? Oh, that uh, has been a bit of a hair raising experience. So we're through security. I'm in the waiting area. My flight goes in about an hour and twenty minutes. After all what's happened so far, no, I mustn't be negative. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm now getting some lunch, and this is something I never do, really. But I've just gone to the deli next door here at the airport, and for a basic salad, they wanted 16 euros 45. So by the time I had a drink, I think nearly 25 euros for a little salad and uh, water. So I thought, well, I've gone to Burger King. Even a Burger King is more expensive than it would be on the street. I've just paid 11 euros 75 for a chicken burger and fries. So amazing. So expensive here in Ibiza. So expensive. Strangely satisfying, isn't it? Especially when you don't really like burgers and things. Whenever you have one, you always think, I think everybody likes them, but we all pretend that we like to eat our place. We go, oh, if I must, I suppose I'm going to Burger King. If I must. Well, so far so good. There we go. Just gonna take them. Well, now on the train. Ooh. <laughs> so train to Piccadilly, then I've got a hotel near Piccadilly tonight and we will go from there tomorrow morning we'll set up over to to Liverpool. God, can't believe I don't I got one I have got lost once I have to say. Already got lost between the airport and the railway station. It said ten minutes walk and I've been walking about twenty minutes I thought this can't be right. Um, <laughs> so I was going in the completely opposite direction. Uh, but I'm here now. So I'm in the travel lodge. Just woken up, I'm absolutely shattered. I don't know why I just didn't sleep very well. It's England, I should be used to it. It was so hot in here last night, there's no aircon. It's like a bloody oven. And what with the spiders crawling all over the ceiling, I tell you. Do you like my new shirt, by the way? Some of you may have already seen it, because after I do this, I'll be going live. So I'm sure of you. I bet I get some stick for it. I bet you anything I get some stick for it. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my hair cut now. In fact, right over there, I'll show you. Oh, there. So it's not very far to go. So I'm going to go and smart myself up a bit. I keep you updated as the day goes on. So now to get myself to Liverpool. Here we go. Air cut. It's all right now. But it's a bit sticky up on the top. I have to go and put some wax or something on it. But <sighs> little by little, we're getting there. Little by little. Now I'm walking up to the railway station. So made it this far. I'm on the platform. About to jump on the train to Edge Street, apparently. Um, I presume this is it, I'm not really sure. Train going around to Hotspot 14. I think I'm on the right train, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to say. 
Well, I've arrived at Edge Hill. Now I've got to get from here to Anvil Stadium. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I've got to look for a bus stop. I know what bus I've got to get, the number 27. So here we go. Wish me further luck. We're doing all right so far. Touch wood. On the bus. This is all new ground for me. I've never been here before in my life. Just got to make sure I get off at the right stop now. <laughs> well, I'm on the bus. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. I've made it this far. <laughs> and I've done a little bit of walking wrong in Manchester. I've done pretty well, I think. <laughs> bus. Yeah, that's I'm Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, now I'm in an Uber. I'd gone the wrong way on the bus. <laughs> I can't believe I got a bus going the wrong direction. I ended up, well, I've seen Liverpool now because I didn't really think I was going to see anything of Liverpool at all. Uh, so I am quite happy that I have actually seen um, a little bit of Liverpool. <laughs> Now time to meet my auntie, my cousin. So hopefully it's that on their way. They have sent me a message saying they're very near. So oh, oh my second glass of wine. Oh I forgot about that. So yeah, second glass of wine. Cheers guys. So far so good. I keep saying how many times have I said so far so good in this? Quite a few times I think. So far so good. Yeah. <laughs> well, going in at long last. The problem is, they only sell wine by the bottle. 